Good morning, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and today we're still continuing on my book, teaching about revival, how to bring it to your community, your country, to America in particular, um, <clears throat> and I'm sharing from, from my book called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, and we're continuing our series on putting on the whole armor of God. Today we're going to talk about the shield of faith. Um, the Word of God says in the Ephesians, above all, take the shield of faith. Why? Because with it you will quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Um, and faith is so important. And one of the key things about faith is, Galatians 5, 6 says, faith works by love. If you're not walking in love, if, if your faith is not working, check your love walk. Are you walking in love? Love is patient, love is kind, it doesn't envy, it does not boast, it's not selfish, it's not prideful, it doesn't seek its own. Um, it's not easily angered. Okay, so look up love, and there's a lot of things that God has to say with love, and start confessing them over yourself. Because faith works by love, and faith, if you haven't faith, God gave us all the same measure of faith, and it's like a muscle, you got to use it, find reasons to use it. Uh, before you're dying of cancer, or any other sickness or disease, start small. Start by using your faith to believe God for uh, new socks, new t-shirts, new shoes. Um, sow seeds and, and find a scripture and then believe God for them. Build up your faith. Uh -huh, there's a message. Uh, build up your faith by starting small. <clears throat> faith is the substance of things. Um, words are seeds. Good words and bad words are all seeds. Uh, everything in this world was created with words. So words are all seeds and the Bible says that. And when you speak the word it produces it. If you say, by, by his stripes I have been healed. What that seed does when you just build it up and meditate on it, think on it, and it becomes real to you and you speak it out your mouth, it produces healing. It's like, it's like an apple seed when put in the ground, which we are ground, we're made out of the dirt, and the word is seed. When An apple seed, if it's planted in dirt, it produces apple. Well, healing seed, when planted in your heart, produces healing. Okay, And faith is what makes it grow. Faith is a substance uh, that you can't see, hear, feel, taste, or touch, but it is more real than what we can see, hear, feel, taste, and touch. It produced everything around here. We're, the world was made by faith. Okay, and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Not just hearing it once, but hearing it and hearing it and hearing the word. So if you want to build up your faith for something, read and study the word about that subject that will build up your faith that will put the seed in you build up that faith and produce the harvest of what it says okay now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him that's hebrews 10 38 and second corinthians 5 7 says we walk by faith not by sight when you begin to walk in what god's word says rather than what you see hear and feel then you'll have what you say and that is a principle in mark um that talks about that. Okay, um, faith. You resist the devil in faith with words. Um, you build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, and work of faith with power. Second Corinthians uh, one one. <clears throat> faith is so important. Faith without works is dead. You can't just say I believe and then not do anything. If you're believing for a child and you can't get pregnant, what you do is you go out and you buy. Maybe you paint, you get your room ready and paint it. That's sowing seeds. Or maybe you give um, knit uh, baby clothing and give it to someone else who just had a baby, sowing seeds into their life. Or you babysit for them. Somehow you sow seeds. You have some kind of action behind your faith. Okay, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That's Hebrews 12, 2. And fight the good fight of faith. You see, the only thing it says in the Bible, we wrestle against principalities, powers, and spirits, but we fight the good fight of faith. So the, the thing that we are fighting is faith. It's stuff in our head. Um, we want to believe what God says. We need to believe what God says rather than what our circumstances and situations say. I'm not saying if your doctor tells you to take this medicine, then you, you take the medicine. But as you're obeying the doctor and taking the medicine, you're speaking and confessing out of your mouth what the word says. I am healed. Thank you, God, that I'm healed, that I no longer need this medicine. And you just keep taking the medicine till you go to the doctor and the doctor confirms you don't need this medicine. Don't not take it. Don't take off your glasses and destroy them. And you can't see. Okay. Wait till when you take off your, your glasses are blurry so you take them off and then you can see. 
okay? So wait to the manifestation before you don't follow doctor's orders because you can end up dead then thinking your faith is at a certain level and it's not. So follow the instructions of the doctor unless God tells you not to. I'm not telling you not to. But follow the instructions of the doctor. That's so important. But while you're following the instructions, believe and confess and take your steps of faith. Okay, so that's it on faith. There's awesome books out there on faith. I don't go over that too much in my book here. Um, we just touched on it a little bit. And tomorrow we're going to go over the sword of the spirit. And uh, now the helmet of salvation and then the sword of the spirit. And um, then we're going to go on to a different subject. So my name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.